first feeding of Spook. It's in Mr.'s uh, future giant water dish. I'll see Mr. Before. He's got it wrapped up. We're just going to let him be. There is our little spooky chomping away at his first pinky here at the honey hive. We will see you guys rest of the video. Peace. Y'all can talk now. You guys come see this. Hey, what's going on, honeybees? Uh, it's almost midnight right now, I think. And we're shooting this video right now because this is when our critters are most out. It was a requested video by uh, a special subscriber to do our reptile room and all our pets video. Um, Without any further ado, let's start, I guess. This is, we have two leopard gecko tanks in here. We got a red tail boa. You guys won't see Spook because he just ate, but we did get recordings of it. You'll see at the start of the video. Well, you already saw it. <laughs> so, there's that. We got some taxidermied items there. We got a peanut germination, a dead baby shark, doo 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 doo. -do. Uh, we got a beaver skull. We got taxidermied butterflies. It's nothing too special about the room yet. It's also the office. We got an HP laptop there. Uh, this is the mouse pad currently. A bunch of that paper. Uh, <laughs> we're too uh, poor and broke to uh, buy. Just kidding. We just don't buy mouse pads around here. Uh, we got pencils and all that cool, uh, interesting stuff. Uh, this is Lincoln's tank right now. I just turned all the lamps off. It is 89 in his. And Thor's tank, he's got a 91 degrees in his tank. They all need water. And Mr. is at an 87. Normally, I don't turn his light on because it's already hot enough in here. 
and they get supplements and stuff like that from the dead mice they eat because as you know bones have calcium in them duh but we'll show you Lincoln uh, he is very curious right now this is his tank he's got a 20 gallon setup right here uh, he always he's always sleeping on the other hide that's him right now that's like his nighttime hide but he always sleeps in that hide right there and we'll take him out hey buddy I think he's hungry we will feed him in a minute oh doesn't want to come out my buddy you do want to come out I know you do <laughs> so this is Lincoln he is a rambunctious little guy his claws hurt when they dig into your forearm uh, so that's great but I've had him for probably two and a half ish years so he's very uh, near and dear to my heart he's tattooed on me uh, Sonny loves him too he's crawling up my arm right now but it's just a show and tell video pretty much it's nothing too special but that's what he looks like up close <laughs> He's just a wild, uh, his morph is wild type, that's just a normal leopard gecko. There's nothing too crazy about him. Uh, I found him at the expo for like 40 bucks when I first got him. He was about half that size. He grew a lot in about two years. He eats a lot. He, pretty much all of our lizard diets are mealworms. We also feed spiders that we see around the house mealworms here. Yes, we're weirdos. That's just how we roll. Uh, I missed all of their tanks like once every other day, so it's nice and humid. I also missed every day that they're shedding or in shed, so they get a nice clean shed in, no stuck shed on the toes. I haven't experienced it with the snakes yet, but it's going to be like that. This is Sonny's gecko. This is Thor the leopard gecko. I have no idea what his morph is. Sonny, he's got like a carrot tail kind of dealio going on, but... He's a really gorgeous gecko. Uh, you want me to take him out? Yeah. All right, you wanna come out, buddy? Now Thor is a little bit more wild than Lincoln is. He's for me. Oop. I am sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> what do you do? I ex I moved my thumb and he moved his face. Oh. And I went. <sighs> Poked his eyeball. I am so sorry, Thor. Love me. He's like, no, get away. He doesn't like you right now. I am so sorry, Thor. It's okay. No, Thor doesn't want to... I already done ruined his night, so that's great. But that's him. Yep, that's Thor. He did have a little accident a while back with his tail where it fell off. However, as you guys see, it is perfectly healthy right now. He's growing it back like a, like a champ, a god of thunder, if you will. <laughs> So that is Thor, just like Lincoln, him and they're both in a 20 gallon setup. All the tanks have under tank heaters also, except Lincoln because his tank fell, his under tank heater fell off. Sorry, I'm tired. We're both tired, it's late at night. Just looking for water. Give Thor some water, because he's just waiting for water, it looks like. He's like, water please. Oh. Please give me water, human. Thor doesn't even have a party spot like most leopard geckos, right? He just poops everywhere he wants. <laughs> <laughs> most leopard geckos, uh, they pick one spot in the tank and that's their primary poop and pee spot. Lincoln's is way in that corner. His has always been in that corner. It's kind of weird. Like he was used to be in this tank and it was still in that corner moved into this tank is still in that corner he was in a 10 gallon for a little while and he was still in that corner <clears throat> that's just how he rolls and let's take mister out now mister's tank since he's just a baby red tail boa constrictor he has a 40 gallon setup 40 gallon heat mat underneath he's got a ceramic bowl because i'm not trying to drive 45 minutes for just for a bowl. So I guess when we get more gecko food, we'll 
get Mister some new things. Maybe okay. he was just out. He was his head was right there. Aw. But he's like, no. As everybody know, well, those who don't know, snakes are very skittish animals, except the ballsy ones. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not gonna go out of their way to hurt you unless they think you're food or they feel threatened. That's just how all snakes are. So if you look like food to a snake, then you should probably not be around one. Life hacks. But he always, he's always in, oh, there he is. I see any guy. How's it going? Is it coming out? Oh, I just fed Spook, so I hope it doesn't smell like rats and he just thinks I'm food. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's saying hi to the world. He's like, hello. Like, what are you doing to my plant? It's like, put my plant back, mister. But yes, this is my red tail boa constrictor. Oh, I see him. Yeah, look at him. He's always right there. That's where he, that's where he hides. That's his primary spot. He's a very gorgeous snake, I'd say. He's just trying to say hi to the world. He's trying to get away, actually. Got his whole body tucked up in there. There he is. That's my Mr. Mister. It's my red tail boa. Now I'm gonna try and get him to interact a little bit. I want him to come up. Right, Mister? Is he coming? Oh, yeah. Well, it does his tail. Where is he? Oh, there he is. There he is. There's our Mr. Mister. There is our very gorgeous boa right there. He's trying to get away though. But this is our boa. He's trying to get away guys. He doesn't want any part of us. <laughs> But this is Mr. My Red Tail Boa Constrictor. He's a very good boy. And on this note, y'all have seen the reptile room. Ooh, it scared me. I don't know why. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but without any further ado, we're going to take you guys to our very beautiful, soft chinchillas. See you guys there. Hey guys, this is Danish. She loves coming out. <laughs> I love her big eyes. Oh my god, she's so cute. Danish is a bit more ongoing. Huh? Yeah, at least she don't like nibble on you. Feel, feel nibble. Yeah. You want to come back out? <laughs> she loves coming out, like I said. <laughs> These are our beautiful chinchillas. Oh, oh. Danish, I'm trying to show the other one. We're going to come out in a minute, okay? She's like, no. You want to explain what you got going on here? Um, a messy cage. <laughs> <laughs> Needs cleaning. Um. I'm not even sure I want to show the fish <laughs> set up. Two chinchillas in there. All sorts of different chew stuff. Got their own little wheel there. They got a, a house. A freaking, they got a whole <laughs> house in there. Then oh. I should love sleeping in there. <laughs> Thank you. 
Aww. Is that Danish? chill enclosure and yeah that's really all there is to her that's gonna do her for this uh reptile room tour pet chinchilla video all oh, pet video besides uh, the fish yeah besides you guys are not gonna see the fish shank yeah it's dirty it's we didn't clean it yet but the fish are doing great all right yeah. we're great fish keepers except we just don't want to clean the tank but if you guys like this video and you want more of it, let us know in the comments. Subscribe, sting the bell icon so you know every time we update and post our videos. And hit the like button if you like what you saw also. Uh, leave some video suggestions down in the comments. Uh, there's no unicorns featured in this video, sorry. So don't even try looking. Well, it's too late because it's the end of the video now. Yeah. But um, keep on buzzing, honeybees. See you in the next video. Peace. That was mine. I popped something. I'm sorry, space. <laughs> Dude, that's way too close. <laughs>